Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you what you can do in the Liquid Layers demo. You do have shortcut keys such as A to attract, R to repel, and you can adjust the brush size by uh, using the scroll wheel. And you can use the touchpad on the your laptop or something uh, while holding your mouse button down to do this kind of smooth uh, thing with the brush size. You can use the one, two, three, and four keys to emit. And you can also press multiple of them at the same time. You can use D to delete some materials. In the materials, you can change the density as well. So let's say I have these two materials of different uh, density. What I can do is flip-flop the density and make a, how about I put one at 0.5 and then what I can do is I can make the red float to the top and then make it go to the bottom. The other thing you can do is uh, you have different, for this will be useful for touch screen users like on mobile and stuff, you can select what the pointer or what your touch will do. So now when I click, it just deletes. And this will be useful for if you're on a mobile device. You can set what your fingers do. Enable accelerometer on my computer will just go zero gravity because there's no accelerometer. And here's something interesting. If I set the uh, rest density for different materials higher, instead of the surface tension effect, we start getting something similar to like molecular bonding. And uh, I'm going to change my mouse action back to drag so uh, my default is drag again and I can do like the accelerate again so let's see now the cool thing is if you tighten up the stiffness a little bit more like uh, some of the instability causes some interesting structures to form like I got some that are like little things and then some are, of them are like kind of forming into like these chains let me see, can I get these to form a chain? Um, but yeah, it starts becoming, and maybe I can take this a little bit further eventually by giving them different radii or something like that. Letting the particles be different sizes might make this even more interesting. Let me, I can emit some different materials from see what happens if I uh, you'll see like they have like a little thick layer over here but yeah that's kind of fun I guess let's turn the stiffness up even gets a little too unstable I guess uh, but yeah kind of cool um, and the last thing I wanted to show you is I've added some new scripting uh, like com um, abilities. So what you can do is uh, you can do stuff like this. Or what I've added is like a user update equals demo. I've added a demo function uh, in the that you can find in the source that adds an emitter at the top. I'm going to set the gravity back. Um, and... I'm going to put back the uh, surface tension a bit. And doo -doo -doo. so with this demo function, so this user function just gets executed every single frame. And you can make it whatever you want. You can turn off this user update by like, uh, by just setting it to like a non-function variable, like zero. Uh, And uh, demo func, let me show you how I can get to it in the code. I think if you double click this, it'll show you in my source where this demo function is, where I use the current time from the performance timer. And uh, yeah. And then I use these module functions from the WebAssembly. 
And what I can do is, for example, I'm just going to repel. Watch the liquid gather in the sides. Keep it away from the drain. Yeah, a lot of different stuff you can do. And you can also drag the window around. So yeah, that's about all for today. This video and uh, there are other things on my site you can try. And that's going to be a new thing as uh, trying to make my stuff a little bit more moddable. You know, for example, with this uh, Grantophone, I can now also have an update keyboard function, which uh, you can use to, for example, set more octaves. And uh, yeah. Uh, welcome to this new, more moddable thing. Uh, well, that's about it for today. Thanks for watching.